So what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is LaToya Ebony. I do type 4 natural hair care videos and in today's video we're going to be talking about my favorite, my current favorite 4C hair products and tools. All the things I've been loving for months now and I just gotta, I gotta let you in on my little secrets, alright? <laughs> This is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay. Now, you may not be one for DIYs, but this one you might want to make time for. It gets rid of toxins and impurities in your hair. And let me just tell you guys, my hair has never felt softer using this. I've been using it on the low. You guys, I got a whole video either coming or I've already done it. I don't know when I'm gonna post it, but there is a way to use this and not dry out your hair and have that like sort of like helmet feel to your hair. And it makes your hair so soft, you guys. If you are experiencing like product buildup or you feel like your products are just not penetrating enough, you may have to clarify your hair in some way, shape, or another. This is that thing for me. Yeah, I, I will continue to use this like every other month. Next category is going to be shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so shampoo. <sighs> I've kind of made this a part of my regular regimen. Like pretty much every time I wash my hair, I'm using sulfate shampoos now, which is like the opposite of all of the years of me preaching like sulfate free. Here's the thing. I have to keep my scalp in check. And more often than not, I have to kind of re, re up the treatment of my scalp. And so I'm usually using either this or this. I stand both of these products. These are both for like a flaky dry scalp. I have seborrheic dermatitis. I talk about it all the time. It is basically an overproduction of sebum and then the cell turnover rate is just much higher. So I get a lot of flaking very, very often. Like very fast, even after I'm done shampooing my hair, washing it, cleansing it, all that stuff. Now, what's the difference? Okay, Nizerol, it has ketoconazole in it. And ketoconazole, I feel is, for me, it has been the most effective as like that boom, boom, bow to my scalp. You know what I'm saying? Like when I really need like something to get in deep and just like get rid of it fast, I use Nizerol, right? The only problem with Nizerol is that it's very drying to the hair. And I don't like that, so I can't really use this on a consistent basis. That's when the Royal Oils comes in. This has, what is this? Yes, pyrithione zinc in it. So two different active ingredients. This one I feel is a lot gentler on the scalp and definitely this formulation is a lot more moisturizing or softening to the hair. Like I don't feel like my hair is completely stripped when I use this. So I use both of these simultaneously like I'll hit it with the nice raw and then continue with the royal oil so I love both of these products conditioners for me I mean I kind of really like the Garnier Fructis it was a conditioner that I found when I was trying to look for a whole regimen under $25 and I found that one it was silicone free sulfate free conditioner very very cheap it was like three dollars and I really like that conditioner but I really like using that for wash and goes because you have to go through so much product now, deep conditioners, I'm a lot more picky on, right? I have a lot. There's ones from Carol's Daughter that I love. There's one from Camille Rose that I love. Uh, there's one from As I Am that I love. I have actually on my website, latoyaebony.com, if you click in like the list under shop, you can see all the products that I love there. Um, but there's one that I always come back to, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask, this one, all right? Now let me tell you about masks. For me, they have to be thick <laughs> and they have to have a lot of slip. And that's usually what I like. And the way that I apply it is like, I'll put it on my hair, I'll let it sit, do its thing. Then I'll kind of run my hair under the water and then detangle. I typically detangle after the deep conditioning step. Like that's my final detangle. I detangle throughout, but deep conditioning, a swish of, of water to really like loosen up the hair because these are really thick masks. Perfect, and it's the right amount of thickness that can handle that swoosh of water and then you get a ton of slip you guys Absolutely love it. I have a video coming up using this next product, which is a tool 
this. I kind of use these in conjunction, right? This is the Felicia Leatherwood Tangling Brush. Black owned. I really love that there's flexibility with the teeth, but there's not too many teeth and it really detangles the hair. Now I use my fingers, but I use this on my son. And dealing with a toddler's hair is a tricky thing. And I use a combination of these products. You guys, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have a video on how to detangle like children's hair, type four hair, because I've, I found a lot of success with it and I found a lot of success with this particular brush. So I'm gonna link it, you can get it from her website, you can get it from Amazon, but I love this for my son. And then we get in with the treatment. Exhibit A. My edges. Did you guys remember my edges and how they were struggling? Well, I used this product. It's the Purity Naturals Biotin Hair Serum. This thing saved my edges 100%. And a lot of you guys have said that it's worked for you as well. And this is why like, I only talk about products that actually work. Like, I'm building literal trust with you. Like, it would be so crazy for me to like, <laughs> When I think about like people who lie, it's just like you would really give up your credibility for like a sponsorship. I just don't understand. Anyway, let's just not even. I talk about products that I love, and you will see me using them over and over again in videos. And I absolutely love this product. Exhibit Exhibit B. <laughs> I've used so much of it already. Love this. It grew my edges, and it's pretty affordable for the amount of product and the amount that you need to use if you just are using it on your hairline. Leave-ins, all right, y'all, I love aloe vera, and then I found a drugstore kind of like version of it that's already packaged up, and this is aloe vera gel, it's 97.7% pure. It doesn't have any fragrance, dye, it's alcohol-free. Yes, you can use this on burns from the sun and whatnot, but <laughs> I use this on my hair as my leave-in. It is super cheap, you guys, and it Works. I feel like my hair is a lot more hydrated when I use this. And recently, I've come across this Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. I'm actually enjoying this, but I can't really call it a product, like a favorite yet, um, because I just started using it. But from the couple times I use it, I love this one as well. Like it has a ton of slip to it, and, and it, it has like a spearminty, menthol-y smell that reminds me of the, my favorite gum. And anyway, I like this one as well, but this one right here? We gonna keep in the rotation unless I get stuck to it. Well, I gotta finish this new one now. But but still, I, I love the aloe vera gel. Like I will probably go back to it as well. Speaking of gels, let's talk about the wash and go real quick. All right, this Eco Styler gel, y'all. If you see my natural hair hacks, like reacting to TikTok, somebody did something with this and made it more with a little bit of water. Like it was uh, it was a lot of water, but but still, it was amazing. Anyway, I love this gel. It works so well. It gives me the most definition with the most ease and it's the least expensive product of all the gels that I have. It's the one with olive oil, love this, will continue using it. Now, let's talk about wash and goes, right? When I'm doing the banding method in my wash and go, like it shrinks, like when my hair shrinks up and I want that length but I still want to wash and go, here we go, we got the satin little little headbands over here. I got these from H&M, I believe, or Forever 21. I don't remember if it was H&M or Forever 21, but I got these online. Like you can search satin hair ties or something like that on Amazon or wherever you shop. Uh, and I love these because they don't dry out or snag the hair when I'm using the banding method. Love them. Also, game changer with a wash and go. This is my hair dryer. It is portable, it is affordable, it is on Amazon so you can get it next day if you've got Amazon Prime. It is a time saver. It is relatively quiet and it is portable, you guys. I love that freaking sit under dryer. I love that I can put it on my tabletop and then put my head under it. It's amazing. I will continue to buy that one because it, it's compact. And especially if you have a small space, like that matters. Love, love that dryer. Hair ties, I'm using one right now. This is the Goody brand. 
I like that they're relatively thick so that they don't really get tangled in my hair. I love that there's no metal on it, like, at all. Um, I don't know. These are just tried and true. I find these at Target. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I love this brand. They're pretty durable. Um, and it's just, like, a super simple thing and really nice to just have around. That and street pins. That's how I, like, pin my hair up. <laughs> now, when it comes to oils, oils, to me, I feel like as long as it doesn't have, like, any silicone and things like that in it, like... I mean oils you can blend your own oils at home so I'm never like really that in love with like a particular oil I kind of will just use it but I think that there may be something to be said for this melanin hair oil because it's almost gone this is eight fluid ounces and you guys it is hard for me to get through a whole oil bottle part of it is because like I've committed to like using a product up before I use something else yes but it also has a, a wonderful nozzle. If you're protective styling, this is really nice. And it also creates like a controlled uh, pour. And you can really just like, I don't know, I, I love the design of the bottle. I find it to be very, very effective. I, I love that it's not like a strong, strong fragrance. Yeah, it just smells like the oils. It has some vitamin E in it. It has baobab, um, baobab, -ba oh my God. <laughs> I see this all the time, but I've never tried to say it out loud. That's so funny. It has argan oil in it as well. Um, yeah, it's a sweet almond oil, all of that. So, I mean, if you have nut allergies, maybe this is not the one for you. But um, I really like the packaging. I think that's what makes it so good. And it's very lightweight oil. I have low porosity hair. I like very lightweight oils, and this is that for me. And, of course, a water bottle. Any water bottle will do, as long as it doesn't completely drench your hair with water. Like, I like one that does just a light little... No. There's equipment around. There's just a light little mist. You know what I mean? That's all you really need. These are my current favorite hair products. Yes, I've done another video as well, like a while ago, on my current favorites from that time. So I will link that uh, here. And then, you know, if you just are interested in type 4 hair care, go ahead and subscribe. Follow your girl on Instagram at Latoya underscore Ebony. I've been really working on like my Instagram and like putting out more content for you guys. And check me out on Patreon. Let me give a quick shout out to the Coily crew over on Patreon. We have a ton of fun. If you want to learn how to support this channel, go to patreon.com backslash Latoya Ebony and become a Coily crew member. I'd love to have you. And with that, I'm going to see y'all in a couple days, all right? <laughs>